Today we've got kick strengthening, and there's two main ways I'd like to go over these exercises. You can either do them with the idea of having balance and going through these motions, or you can do them with full knee extension, full muscle flexion, and full range in the hips. Both ways are correct, um, but I'm personally doing the full range version to get my kicks higher, uh, so I am using something to assist in my balance. But if you're doing the balance version, then I would suggest trying to do it without holding anything for balance. So first we started with the pushes, now we're doing the pulls. These are side kicks. A uh, helpful tip for the side kicks that I've been focusing on is that it is actually a kick that starts in the front of the body, not in the back of the body. It's not like a donkey kick, it is a forward kick. Much more like a front kick than it is like a hook kick or a back kick. So yep, just doing it over the chair right here. Um, as you see, no balance. Uh, another little trick with the side kicks that I really like is I feel like I'm pulling all my joints, um, all my limbs into my body and then going out like a star jump so that I'm extending in everywhere all at the same time. Uh, here we've got some leg raises. Make sure you guys are also doing everything on both sides, obviously. Um, and you can't see in the video here, but I'm actually standing on the other part of the resistance band. That's what's keeping it down. Um, what do we got next here? Slow motion round kicks. Uh, make sure that you're fully bowed out here and that when you're rechambering, you are flexing your hamstrings really tight. Uh, when I say bowed out, I just mean you need that bottom foot turned out all the way and you need that top leg in its maximum back. Like however far back it goes, put it there. Um, as you can see, when I started, it was over the chair. Now it's actually on the other side of the chair because I actually um, fixed the bow. Uh, see, there you go. There's a good example. So that's me. I'm actually not completely bowed out there. It, my knee should be, there we go. Yep, about there. Um, so yeah, that's just turning the table because we want our kicks to go downwards, not upwards. Uh, it's just more powerful that way just how our bodies are built plus we've got gravity to assist so if we can do that then let's do it uh right here i'm going up onto my toe and turning my hip over from a front kick into a round kick style area it's just really good for warming up those hips really good for getting the zones correct for your kicks um the more range that you have in your kicks that means the larger your power radius is going to be meaning like if you if you're going to peak at a certain point in your kick, it's going to be in the middle. But like if you have a wider range that your kick can cover, then that power range is going to increase as well. Um, here we go doing some side kicks. I'm dragging the straight leg all the way across and then bending the knee. And that's actually not how you're supposed to side kick, but it builds the muscles for a side kick extremely well. Um, this is really just getting my knee to react properly, maintaining my balance, maintaining posture and just like understanding quickness. Um, I don't think I would ever use these types of kicks uh, ever, but it's just like good for balancing and full extension. Here, I'm just making sure that my, like that was real speed. So I'm just like really, really flexing my quad and locking out my knee here on these. Just like, yeah, just making sure that was in slow, that was in fast motion and it looked slow. So yeah, just really lock it out, uh, strengthen up those hip flexors and those quads so that leg can snap out and be comfortable in these ranges of motion. Uh, yep. And then just getting the, getting the height on those. These are push kicks. So the knees going up and then pushing away, um, kind of like a punch, you know, pushing the gas pedal at the end there. <clears throat> It'll be make more sense in regular speed here. There we go. Pushing, pushing. And that's everything. Um, if you do everything, both sides, oh, well, we got hook kick pumps and I'm not sure what else we got. Um, that might be everything, but I just want to say quick um if you go through this whole thing it takes me about uh 30 minutes to 45 minutes to go through the whole thing both sides everything is generally um i just do one set but i do it every single night so it's um about 10 total of everything and yeah that's it